track. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Big Slam Hope, and I got another video for y'all. In this video, we're going to be doing a little arts and craft, okay? I'm going to be showing y'all how I made my bang. You know how the OGs showed me. Um, and before I get into that, listen, man. If you get up there in the mountains with them crackers, and you follow the rules that I gave you, and you get caught, you ain't get it from me. You heard Alright, so now, boom, the finishing results is probably going to be something like this. Now, this thing, it's, it's a little decent size to do a little damage, if you know what I'm talking about. You feel me? But, so boom. And before I get into the video, if you like my content, make sure you like, you share it, you subscribe to the channel, man. You know, if you if you fucking with me, man, subscribe to the channel, man. It don't hurt, you know, so it can circulate so other people can see this. You never know who life you might change. But anyway, the skill of weapon making in the prison system is, is is very amazing, right? Because it's like, it just shows you the creativity that we possess as a people, and we don't really apply it, man. Like, we people be making all type of stuff in the prison system. They make barbecue sauce out of scratch. They be making, they be doing, yo, the way people be cooking in there and just finding out ways to chef it up, to make weapons, to, to improvise, to make little, um, little, um, small little holders for your radio, like, just the, the stuff that people put their mind to in prison, bro, if they put their mind to that in the street, they'll be killing the game, but we only seem to, to, to use our brain when we, like, in some tough situations, but anyway, so, boom, before I even get into this, I just want to say this. I'm not here to promote violence or negativity, but you, as a man, you have a responsibility to be safe, not just for yourself, but also for your family when you are amongst your family. But when you are away in that place, you only got yourself. You can't depend on the guards. You can't really depend on your mans and your peoples, like... You only really got yourself. It's good if you got a little help, but as a, as a man, you should never feel comfortable in somebody else going out for you like you will go out for you. I'm just saying. So, like the in the words of the of the of the OG Sheikh, he told me, "Listen, man, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it." You know, and and I I believe in those words wholeheartedly. You don't want to get into a situation nowhere not even in the street but we talking about prison you don't want to get into a situation in prison and, and everybody gripped up y'all y'all seen the video mexican got on boots you know what i'm saying you don't want to get into a mexican got on boots situation and you ain't got nothing <laughs> and everybody else like ah, ah, going crazy and you just did like with the fist wrapping the shirt around your fist like listen you don't want to be that dude Unless you're a boxer or something, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Martial arts, jujitsu. You don't want to be that dude. You know what I'm saying? Everybody start pulling out shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, so yeah, so that's just the point. I just want people to be safe. So you always have to be on point. Another thing is, anyway, let me just get into the video. So boom. In the jail system, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the picture up here of what 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 it actually looks like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the, the best picture. Um, but it, there's a, a garbage can that looked like this. It's usually in the offices, like in the school building, at least in the prison I was in. Um, it's usually like in the bathrooms. They put it in the bathrooms of, of like, you know, the gyms, the, the main offices, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, it's only that it's not plastic. It's made out of metal. It's almost about the same height, but it's a little taller. Um, same resemblance. Um, it's only that it's metal and it's a little taller. Now, the it has the same thing, right? It has like this little insertion thing uh, uh, the only thing it comes out a little more um and what we used to do with it is we used to use a nail clipper and we used to stick it in there and kind of like bend bend the um 
the folded part, we used to bend it, right? Because once you bend it all the way around, it has a metal ring that's under there. Now, the metal, of course, I don't even know how this dude know about this shit, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Them older dudes is dangerous. The video that I made talking about the older sheikhs that was, 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 was not playing with dudes, he was teaching me how to do this shit, right? So I'm like, how the fuck you even know there was a metal ring under this shit? But anyway, so there's a metal ring under there, right? So once you get all this all the way, I'm saying you, you, get the, you get the metal ring out, and of course, you probably should put it back a certain way, or, you know, the police aren't even going to realize, because usually, this be in a corner somewhere in the bathroom. The, way, the one I got was in the bathroom, right? It's the smartest place to be, right? In the bathroom, you act like you're taking a shit, you leave the shit in there, you doing what you're doing, whatever, right? So you put it back, you kind of like fold it back so nobody know, and, you know, the garbage bag is on it. And at the end of the day, the police do not change the, the 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 garbage bag in the bathroom is another is another inmate right so they don't even realize like oh somebody took the you know what I'm saying because the shit always got a bag in it so anyway once you get the metal ring out see the metal ring resembles a, a metal piece like this now this is th it was thicker than this because it was about as thick as this right so you could tell like the, the comparison this is thicker than that but it's similar to this and when i say similar meaning that you can bend this metal this metal right here is bendable right it's it's sturdy enough to be able to you know what i'm saying get, get crazy or something like me. It's, it's 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 strong enough to do that <laughs> it's also weak enough for you to be able to bend it right um so the metal ring the metal ring is almost like a bracelet it's not sealed together so it's like almost you, you know how the bracelet says they, they 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 go on your wrist but they don't fully seal. So when you pull the metal ring from under the the garbage thing that I just showed you, um, it looks like this. And then so you could bend this, you could bend it, make it straight. Once you make it straight, you could probably make like depending on the size of the if you want uh, like this is a decent size banger, right? So if you want it like a you could probably make like three or four of these. With that metal piece because when you stretch it it's a little long right um so you can make however you want to make you can make four you could depending on the size if, if you want like a pen size you probably could make five you know um but you know sometimes you just want some <clears throat> you want some you want some strong you, know? you want some you want some long enough man to reach places that <laughs> hey yo sound kind of crazy but you get the point um so <laughs> when you bend it enough like i said you got to go through a process of bend this way and that way and keep bending to the point where, like, the metal starts to become hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, it start. I don't know what the process is called. I'm pretty sure it got some scientific word or explanation for it. But you bend it to the point where it starts to get hot and eventually you can break it, right? Eventually you can break it. Um, and then you could, you know, you could sharpen it. You could, you could, you could do whatever you do to it to, to add finishing touches to it. Now... Um, some people also put like a string at the end of it just, just so it could give their hand a little more grip. You know, because look at this. Even after you grip it, like it still gives you enough length to do damage. And if you just hit somebody in the neck, like even if you hit like somebody in, in the stomach or whatever, like I don't know. I'm not going for nobody's stomach. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like that's why I always, anytime I had a situation, I was not quick to go get my weapon because at the end of the day, it got to be a serious situation for me to go get that shit. Because if I get that shit, I'm not stabbing you in your back. I'm not stabbing you in your stomach. Like, I'm hitting you in your juggler. Like, I'm trying to, like... So, I always had to think. I always had to be like, is this shit that serious? So, I used to let shit go. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to fight you. Because at the end of the day, if I feel like I got to fight you, a lot of times dudes not going to hold down that you whoop their ass. You see in the street, people don't hold down that you beat them. You beat them up, they go get a weapon. They'll shoot you. So it don't even make sense to fight even in the streets. That's why I don't be walking around here trying to fight people. The same thing, same way I was in prison. If you fight somebody in prison and they and they lose, now you got to worry about them sneaking you and cutting you with a can top or doing something crazy to you. And I'm just like, I'm not going to go home wearing that scar. I'm just not. Even though you could get a little surgery and they, I'm just not trying to go through certain stuff. So if I feel like we really had a problem and there was no coming back from that shit, like, you got to get out of here. Like, like I told y'all before, if I had a problem with that kid from Buffalo, we was cool. But I said that to myself because one time we got, like, in a little argument. If I have a problem with this dude, 
I'm taking this dude out the count. I'm not even playing with this dude. And it is what it is. I got to defend myself. So anyway, that was my whole point. And I was telling you, them, them older brothers, they don't be playing around. A lot of like they, a lot of them came from Maxis or they've been in Maxis or they've been in crazy environments where like dudes play for keeps. And the, and the mediums, dudes be running around with cam tops. They just want to scratch you, cut you. They making stuff out of whatever they making in toothbrushes, all type of stuff, right? And there's probably easier ways to make a banger. I'm just telling y'all how I made mine, how the OG taught me, and that's what I have for the rest of my bed. It's crazy because I left. Usually when somebody leave, they leave the banger to somebody else. I was Muslim, so, you know, you leave it to another Muslim. You tell the Muslim, you hold us down. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I ain't even get to do that. Also, sometimes you can't even trust certain people because, like, your dudes will jam you up. If you get caught with one of these, man, you get a new charge. <laughs> You get a new charge, and a new charge could cost you like three more years, one or three. A lot of times they give you a one or three added to your thing. Sometimes they run it concurrent. But, yeah, man, you get caught with one, one of them things, and then, man, you, you, you're going down. <laughs> you feel me? So that's the video, you know. But, yeah, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Let me know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section. Y'all have a good one. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.